Alright, so continuing where we left off, we will go ahead and refine the neck part because that seemed to have just totally messed up. You know what? It's, uh, we need to make his neck longer. Yeah, that's better. And then we'll go ahead and from the back bring out his these muscles here. Uh, bring it kind of in closer here. Let's go ahead and draw. Turn the strength a lot down here. So let's go ahead and bring this here. And then we'll go ahead and uh, hold shift to bring it back out. I think we might have to add another level of vertices, but uh, I don't know if my computer can handle that. Uh, I generally have a strong computer, but uh, there's two things to keep in mind. One, we started from a cube, and generally you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to sculpt up, uh, I mean, uh, model up few thousand polygons and then sculpt but uh, we didn't do that so you know we might run into a few problems but it's okay so, uh, you know, just keep this how it is here we need to go ahead and widen this jaw here so it looks a little abnormal except he looks kind of like he's uh holding some like he's I need to make this look good. Well, you know what? Let's just worry about the neck for now. And that doesn't look too bad. He looks very skinny, though, from this angle. So I need to go ahead and uh, thicken up his neck. That's looking better. Let's go ahead and add a level. Yeah, it's it's uh it's it's slowing down. Mm, there's got to be a, a way to make it a little smoother. Anyway, we'll deal with it. See, we're up to almost four hundred thousand polys. And, you know, it'd be really nice if we could keep it like that, but we just can't do it. Oh well, we'll just work with what we have. So I'm just continuing to find these muscles. This is where the scapula would be, or the shoulder blades. So you want to make that kind of flat. Yeah, shoulders, that's what we're missing. We need to bring in the shoulder muscle here. Let's go ahead and just uh, bring that out here, like so. You know what, just for this part here, we can uh, go up. Yeah, it's not that bad. I just want to make sure the recording looks nice. Let's strengthen it. Strengthen up the pinch. And we'll smooth. <laughs> it looks weird now. But it looks better than it did. We'll go ahead and press grab. Oops. Just bring this forward, bring this back. Push this in here. Oops, didn't mean to go into edit mode here. Yeah, yeah, let me show this. If you see here, we have a bunch of vertices here, but not a lot here because we just pulled it down from the neck. And yeah, this isn't the best way to do it, but you know, we're not going for a final model with this either. This is just for the retopology so we're not going to get into that, that kind of even it looks a little bit like muscle striations so it actually kind of works out for us let's go ahead and form this Adam's apple a little bit better I think after one more part we'll be done And it's cool that we made this in Blender. You know, it's 
kind of nice. It looks pretty cool, right? Let's bring this back here like this. Uh, just got to make this a little bulgier. Uh -huh. It looks kind of like a bodybuilder a little. But that's cool. That's kind of what I was going for in my mind. Alright, so this is uh, generally, this looks kind of, looks pretty good. We're, uh, there's, uh, I thought I was going to be able to show you guys specific muscle groups and how to lay them out, but there's, we don't have anywhere near good topology. Uh, not, we don't have good enough topology to do that. But it's okay. Let's check where we are on time. We're pretty good. I'll say, okay, let's, let me check one thing really quick. Wire. Uh, we actually might be able to do that. So one thing I'd like to do is uh, get some, uh, make it look like his pecs are really defined. So let's go up another level. Let's smooth it around here. Now let's go to draw here. Let's turn strength all the way up. Let's turn our size down, and then we're just going to add one, two little uh, lines here. And then we're also going to add a line around the pec here. So, what we're going to do is like what we've been doing this whole tutorial. So we're just going to pinch this all together, and it should actually look quite nice when we're finished. I hope that's what I'm going for, for it to look good. Huh? Okay, so. Too much smooth there. So just bring the clavicle, or uh, sorry, the sternum back in like this. So a little pinch a little bit more. That looks good. Yeah, turned out better than I thought it would. It's just a little bit more here. Let's turn on our brush size here. Just continuing here. I want this to be a little more defined. I didn't make this as defined as I wanted it to be either. Alright, so once we're done with this, we'll be done with this part. Smoothing, smoothing. I don't want to smooth too much around the pecs over there by the sternum. Just a couple clicks. All right, so let's uh, go down one level and smooth it just a little bit. Go back up, and we'll grab and fix this up here. Hmm, I need this to be a little better. Bring this back some. Okay, so I think we're done here. Just gotta make this look more better. There's no way we can make that look as good as I wanted it to. So, um, bring this in and pull it together. There we go. So, uh, that's it for this part. Uh, just one more thing. I need to, I, oops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to open Photoshop. But, uh,. Yeah, we have just a little bit more time to fix this up here. Yeah, that looks much, much better. So, that's it for this part, and be sure to watch the next part. Alright guys, thanks.